Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to check out some quick and easy ways to help extend the battery life on your Nexus 5. Most of these settings are available in some form or another on any Android device or ROM, so this tutorial should also apply to other phones as well. And the best part is, none of these tweaks require root or a custom recovery, so this one isn't just for the power users out there. You can even help walk grandma through these. No offense intended to any actual grandmas out there that are watching this. It was just a colloquialism, mom. And if you want to go through this at your own pace rather than trying to keep up with me here, or if you're actually watching this video on your phone, I've got a full tutorial for reference just waiting for you if you click the link in the description below. First things first though, we'll need to head into the phone's settings. This can be done by finding the settings app in your app drawer, or you can find it here amongst the quick settings toggles. Starting from the top, we'll go into Wi-Fi settings. Be sure to click the actual word Wi-Fi rather than the toggle to the right of it. In here, hit this three dot menu button and find advanced. Then there's this option titled keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Now running the Wi-Fi radio, just like any other tiny piece of hardware inside your Nexus 5, requires electricity. So turning it off when your phone's not in use will indeed save some battery. But as you see here, doing so will increase data usage. This is because your phone syncs data in the background even when it's asleep. So not having Wi-Fi on during sleep means that your mobile data will be used for this task instead. So keep that in mind if you're on one of these kilobyte hoarding carriers that don't offer truly unlimited data. Another Wi-Fi related tweak is to tick this box next to avoid poor connections. This will keep your phone from trying to cling to that last bit of connectivity when you're almost out of range of Wi-Fi signal. And in general, if you disable Wi-Fi when you're not using it, say for instance you're on the road or you work at a place that doesn't let you use their Wi-Fi, you'll get some significant battery gains there too. And if you head back out to the main settings page, then hit more. There's another option in here that we can change. NFC is what allows Android Beam and Google Wallet to work. But if you don't use those or just value battery life more than that functionality, this is a good one to disable. Just like Wi-Fi, it's another internal piece of hardware that doesn't have to be drawing current if you don't want it to. Now back out and under display, screen brightness is a huge battery draw. Leaving it on auto here means that the backlight will be adjusted automatically but many Nexus 5 users have said that the phone is unnecessarily bright with this setting enabled. If you manage this one manually instead, you can conserve a huge chunk of battery life. This can be done here inside the settings menu, or you can even get to it faster by using this quick settings tile. This next one's a big one, disabling apps. If there are any apps that came with your Nexus 5 that you don't ever find yourself using, this screen offers a simple method to turn them off essentially. You don't want to get too carried away here, so don't go disabling apps that you don't recognize. But if it's something that you see in your app drawer, yet never used, it's more than likely safe to disable. So swipe over to the All tab here, and dig through this list until you find an app that you want to remove. Tap it, and then hit this Disable button to keep it from draining your battery. The same applies with apps that you've installed yourself, but no longer use. You can uninstall those from this Downloaded tab, but this time hitting the Uninstall button instead of Disable. And if you keep those unwanted apps disabled and uninstalled, they will no longer run in the background and consume power. Now under Location, this Mode option allows you to turn off the GPS chip on your Nexus 5. There are other methods of obtaining your location that your phone can use, so if you don't need exact pinpoint location for things like navigation, you can set this to battery saving. Lastly, under Accounts, if you tap Google, there's a way to squeeze out a few more milliamp hours. Tap your Google account at the top here, and you'll see a list of all the services that are being synced in the background. If you turn one of these off, that particular data will not be synced across your devices, so you probably shouldn't do this for something that you want to receive notifications from, or if it's something that you also use on your computer or tablet. But let's say you don't care to get notifications from Gmail, and you're fine with discovering new emails only when you open the actual app. You can untick this box next to that entry, and your phone won't waste battery by constantly checking in the background to see if you've received a new email. You can do this with any of these other services that you either don't use, don't want to receive notifications from, or don't care to have synced across your devices. So you should now see a nice jump in battery life on your Nexus 5. And like I said, be sure to check out the article and the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time guys, but until then, Happy soft modding.